Speaker McCarthy refuses to ask Santos to resign. What does this lack of accountability tell you about the House GOP leadership? I mean, look, George Santos is uh, a liar and a fraud. We know this already. And um, Speaker McCarthy has essentially empowered the most extreme voices in his party. He needs George Santos's vote. And so he gives away power to folks like George Santos and Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, it's a shame that Speaker McCarthy doesn't take this issue seriously. George Santos has clearly lied to his constituents, lied to his House colleagues, lied to almost everyone uh, that knows him. Um, and there should be action. That's why we, we put forward this, the resolution on the expulsion. Um, and in this serious time where we're talking about the debt, we're talking about health care for Americans, um, we shouldn't have someone like George Santos in the Congress and certainly not getting classified information. I think it's important that we don't both sides the conversation when it comes to debt, which I hear people doing all the time. Democrats want to meet our financial obligations. House Republicans playing chicken with the global economy. What do you want the American people to know about what it is Republicans are asking for in exchange for just coming to the table? What they have proposed is, is unbelievable. I mean, at the end of the day, what they are proposing is essentially to gut basic services that people are depending on. The cut to veterans alone would be devastating. We're talking about the loss of significant health care opportunities for veterans across this country. Uh, Medicaid, support for seniors around health care. We're talking about possibly tens of thousands of teachers losing jobs and having less access uh, to, to their own benefits. And so this is a serious issue. Uh, Democrats, all we want to do is pay our bills. These are bills that were incurred before. Much of those bills during the Trump administration, we know, as you said earlier, that Donald Trump, when he was there, he worked with Democrats to raise the debt ceiling. This is not a difficult or controversial issue. Uh, Republicans are trying to hold the American economy hostage. They're playing games, and it's dangerous. And so we're going to be very serious about protecting, uh, particularly protecting all these benefits that, that our, our people need. Well, there has been so much attention on the lifting of Title 42. I think it's gotten lost that the House GOP passed an incredibly restrictive immigration border patrol bill this week. Talk me through your biggest concerns about this, understanding it's never going to pass the Senate. I mean, there's a lot of concerns. I mean, first of all, that um, that bill was shameful. I, I, it does a lot of awful things besides just demonizing immigrants and migrants. But it, it even goes to defunding nonprofit organizations that actually are providing medical care and providing food, shelter, and water to migrants, to children, to women, to families. And so it is cruel. It's heartless. Um, it's not who this country uh, is. It's not what this country is about. They, you know, the Republicans call themselves patriots, but it's not patriotic to be cruel to people that are trying to get help in this country. One thing that we need is comprehensive immigration reform. The president wants this. The Congress wants this. The Republicans are the only group around that have no interest in trying to help the economy to try to bring in work. Workers. And so it's a serious issue. Democrats also want border security. Uh, we want to work and actually have a comprehensive package. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful that there's been good uh, focus on this, and we're not seeing the chaos that some of the Republicans, in, in my opinion, probably wanted to see. We will continue to work on this issue in Congress as, as best possible. But that bill, fortunately, is dead on arrival.